Hello YouTube, this is Shining Gold with uh, Oblivion Knights of the Nine walkthrough part one. Um, in this part, uh, well, I'm doing the Knights of the Nine walkthrough basically because I, I kind of just wanted to test out my uh, my capture card again. I'm, I'll probably get Where back to doing uh, uh, oh Fallout 3 walkthroughs eventually, do I owe but this, I just wanted to I record a, a quick... Um, a, a quick series of videos. So I record today. I recorded this all the nights of the nine. So I'll be uploading this probably probably once a day because they take a while to render. Um, I already got to the point where you saw the the anvil church and everything. So you you'll probably be like you you, you won't have uh, heard about the prophet yet. Just some people will be talking. Uh, one of them will mention. If you like go around town and you see two people Saint talking Helen. to each other and Helen one of them mentions the prophet you then uh you'll get a a cue uh, to uh a curse. you know that a like a uh, quest update Ooh, marker and then yeah then you see the prophet So um you, you're talking with the prophet here you, and you, right here you should say you're not a worthy knight you should say sure i have no claim to fame because if you say you have no you, claim to fame then he gives you a map to help you find the way shrines and the are way you, shrines are basically impossible to find by yourself that? because there's a couple of them that are completely off the road the like off all the major roads that you follow in the game so it's pretty much pointless For those who would it's their pointless path, to say that you're like because if you say oh i'm a i'm a knight i can do whatever i want the then he'll be like one. oh fine then do whatever you want mm, i don't need you yeah so, so just just be humble okay so what the way i find way shrines is i um i look at the way shrine map then I try to find some like landmarks, like a bump in the road relative to where the way shrines are located on the map. Then I mark it, and then I fast travel to the nearest point where I can, and then move towards my marker. Um, I'm cutting through a lot of my loading screens here, so don't think that I have like a godly Xbox because I don't. I, I just cut it. I just cut through all the the load times. Okay, so heading towards that way shrine. I'm here. And this is just a really tedious task. You just touch the way shrine, then you you're then you have apparently prayed to the god, and then you just go back, and then that's it. Then you're done. Then you have to do that eight more times. Which sucks, because a couple of them, because the Way Shrine map is terrible. Sometimes it'll be off by a lot. Like for example, one of these in while recording, I had I took like eight minutes just to like record. Needless, you, you you'll see it. I I well you won't see it. I edited it out, but whatever. Okay, so now next one I'm going to is the one by Skingrad. I mean, what can I say about this part? I mean, I'm probably going to be helping you if you're ever lost or something, but it's it's just, this is the most annoying quest item in any video, not in any video game, but probably in this video game. Definitely in the Knights of the Nine. Okay, so you walk, I, I warped up to the way shrine there because you didn't, I don't think you guys would want to see 30 seconds of me riding my horse up to that way shrine. So yeah. Pray to it. Get on my horse. Bang, bang, bang. Done. Look at not the wine green list. Way shrine. Whoa. Next one's up by coral. So just 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 keep doing it like you're doing it. It's tedious. It's boring. I'll be doing it for the rest of this video and the half of the next video that I upload. At least half. I don't know. It might be less than half. But, yeah. A good portion of the next video that I do. But the Knights of the Nine actually does have some really fun dungeons to do. 
it's definitely worth uh, the 800 or whatever uh, Microsoft points it costs to download. Or if you have Oblivion for the PS3, it was free. So, I mean, that's that's a welcome addition to the game. Whoa. So you go to, go to the Way Shrine and, and you pray to the Way Shrine and then you're done. Can't really, uh, it's just not, not a lot, not a lot to say, you know? It, it's, it's tedious, it's boring. I'm, I mean, at some points it's really hard to find the way shrines, because the map marks it completely wrong, or the map gets confusing, because there's this one where you're by, uh, the river that's by the east of the map, and... For whatever reason, a complete whole chunk of the river is cut off, so it looks like the way shrine is at the top of the river, so you mark it near there, but it's really not. So it, it, get, it gets confusing, like pretty, pretty confusing. But then you realize it, like right there, you see Kinarch or whatever? You, you see it? I bet you could see it. I'm sure you could see it. It was near the west. If you didn't see it, I want you to rewind the video right now and go back and see it. Okay. Are you back? Did you did you did you rewind? Okay, cool. Cause I wanted you to see that. Oh god. I have four minutes of narration. That's just kinda of pointless. This um, be careful if you're riding your horse over the edge of this cliff here. Because if you do it too fast and you're not, like, kind of skimming the edge like I am with my horse right here, you could, like, drive off the edge and you could it, you could hurt your horse a lot. Um, I know... Well, I my horse died not doing these pilgrimage, but through the Knights of the Nine. Um, and I'm sure some of it was from taking fall damage. So just be careful. Um, if you have Shadowmir, that is the greatest horse ever because it's an NPC. It's like a, it's an important NPC in the game, which means that it doesn't die. It just gets unconscious. So it's 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 basically the perfect horse. You, you can do anything with it really, as long as you don't care about it randomly collapsing for like 30 seconds every once in a while. I'm doing this on my really strong character. This isn't the same character that I had when I started the Oblivion walkthroughs, like way back two years ago. Not two years ago, one year, a year and a half ago. Uh, though I, I'm sure I could have gotten him really strong. But this is my, uh, this is just my main playing character. I, I, I mainly use my other character for uh, just walkthroughs. The only reason why I'm doing, I'm using this character for it is because Knights of the Nine can get pretty difficult at parts um especially around the end like I, there are some even parts around the end where i i was having troubles with this character and i think i'm on the easiest setting right now i'm not sure I'm either the easiest or like medium or something i don't i, I don't know okay right here i'm going to skip and it's going to look really weird i'm going to skip right to the way shrine because the, this is the one that took me like eight minutes to find. It's not where I marked it. It's like over to the side a little bit. And it's so confusing. You'll see it on the map where it's really located, so you won't be able to see me get to it. Like, see, I'm right here. Um, oh, wolf. Kill the wolf. Freaking wolves. Don't feel obliged to kill every single thing in your way here, because that it just takes forever. Okay. See, right on the map, you see where I am? See how far away that is from where I marked it? That's so annoying. It mess- it probably- it'll probably mess you up, too, if you- if you're going by the way shrine now. Okay, here you need to- oh crap, you could probably hear my background effects, can't you? My TV, I'll- I'll turn that down. You probably just heard me, uh, somebody- Send me a message or something. Logged online. Um, next one I'm going to do is... I think I'm... I don't know. Well, let's watch. I don't narrate the videos while I do them, by the way. 
Which you've probably found out from me totally, like, breaking the fourth wall here. Okay. So, the next part is, um... I'm just gonna finish up here by loading up the next, where I'm going to be, like, the next way shrine, so. Uh, don't, don't, uh, don't get your hopes up. The next one's kind of hard to find, too. It's not really difficult, but it's kind of hard. It's definitely not as hard as the one by the river, or this, or the one I just did. This one's by a river, too, don't get that one confused. So, yeah. Um, uh, just have fun. This is it's so boring. I'm sorry. This is the most boring side quest and pointless side quest I've ever, of any mission ever. I'll see you guys next time, and it'll just be more of this crap. Sorry. Sorry. Not a good way to come back, I know.